hi guys welcome back again to my channel i am doing another easy problem like quite easy problem um this time from adabit this is the first time i'm solving a challenge from adabit on this channel i thought i will um use this website as well because i heard some people use it so you might enjoy this one uh, anyway uh this challenge says how much is true and it says create a function which returns the number of two values that are in an array so given an array like this with only two and fast values or boolean values you have to return how many times uh, the the word uh, well not the word to the value of two is in there right so it says return zero if given an empty array okay all items are typo okay so go in here and we will say const length of uh, should i make uh yeah again i want to mention if you don't know how to use uh, um how to use uh, arrow functions please give uh, please uh, go and check a video that explains them i don't have a video about arrow functions yet but i use arrow functions when i explain things most of the time so uh, and it's really good to get familiar with them because they are so common now okay so we will say const um, length of two that's how i want to name it right and it gets an array as a parameter and like it says we want to return how many times um how many times uh, the the value 2 is in there so what i will do is i will filter out so i, I will filter out all, all the fast values so i only want to keep the values that uh, that are true right so first i will filter the f filter the um filter the fast value out and then so i will keep just the two values and then i will return the length of the new array so what i will say i will say array fil filter not filter array filter and in here again i will use arrow functions again if you don't know how to use them please look them up and we will say item and we will say item equals true right because we want to we want to check if the item is equal to two and only then we will keep it in the filter array and then we will say that we want the length of this new array so if you don't know how to use the filter filter method on arrays i will link the video i made about the filter method up there so go check it out if you didn't understand how this works you need to go understand how the filter method works now here we say item equal to because we want to uh, return only the elements that are true so we want this function to return true only when this is true but because the values are like boolean you don't have to say item equal to and that uh, that will return true and uh, when you say item equal uh, when, when the item is fast fast equal true will return true what you can say is say item return item because the item is either false or true so if this returns true if this is true the item is true then it returns it if so if the item in there is true it returns it because this is actually true so the the item evaluates to true because it's true so it returns it if it's false it doesn't return it right so this is all that it is to this function right we just do a filter and you check the length right so let's copy this and uh, how do you actually put your uh, code in there or you say something like that i will put this and i will because they put a normal function so you just have to do this instead return or filter of this okay 
Let's check. Boom, it's, it scared me the, 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 the sound they make is like, no, you did something wrong, you did something wrong. It's like exclamation, exclamation. But it seems it works. Okay, so yeah, that was it. <laughs> All right, I'll see you next time. If you enjoyed this video, please give a like and subscribe. It will help me with the YouTube algorithm. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.